What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, smash that like button for me. I really would appreciate it. Also, hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Be careful down in the comment section of the videos. A lot of spam, a lot of scammers. I will never ask you to contact me by WhatsApp or Telegram. I also do not invest money for my subscribers, so please be careful. Don't get yourself scammed. If you want up to 12 free stocks, Weeble is gonna give you up to 12 free stocks when you open a new Weeble brokerage account, put at least $100 in that brokerage account, they're gonna give you up to 12 free stocks. Then you can take that $100 that you initially deposited and start buying your favorite companies and your favorite ETFs to build wealth. There's a link down in the description box of the video. Click on that Weeble link. Open up your new Weeble account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. I was watching one of my favorite financial guys, Robert Kiyosaki. He basically said something worse than a recession is getting ready to happen here in the United States. Now, here are some things he also talked about in his video. And he had some other guy in the video with him that had a lot of data. He talked about a lot of things, 1970s, uh, the 1980s, the 1990s, the early 2000s, all this stuff that was happening to our economy and why what's coming is gonna be worse than a recession in current day. And I'm thinking to myself, all that sounds great, but guess what, it's just his opinion. Doesn't mean it's gonna happen. When you look at the data currently, the Fed has increased short-term interest rates 11 times. And what has that done? Stop inflation in its tracks. Start it bringing inflation down. So what that means is, when the Fed wants to stimulate the economy, what do they do? They decrease interest rates rapidly. When the Fed wants to pump the brakes on the economy, what do they do? They increase short-term interest rates rapidly. And a lot of people ask me, well, what's the difference between a recession and a depression. A recession is a temporary slowdown in production in our economy. A prolonged slowdown in production in our economy is a depression. We are not headed towards either. Here's the situation, guys. Even with the Fed increasing short-term interest rates 11 times over the last 18 months, our economy is still holding firm. The labor market has cooled off since January of 2023, but still, when you're adding still a couple hundred thousand new jobs every single month, that means people have the ability to get jobs. People have the ability to work if they want to work. And when people can work, and earn, they spend. Despite the fact that people can't borrow money because to borrow money, that means you gotta pay a really high interest rate to get it. Most people have stopped borrowing money because of that. That makes sense because that's what the Fed wanted to do. See, the Fed didn't want to collapse the entire economy. The Fed wanted to slow overspending down. Their job was to inflict enough financial pain in our financial markets, in our economy, so that people would stop spending as much as they were spending. You still got to spend because 70% of our economy is based on spending, right? You have to spend. What they were trying to cut down on is the excessive spending, which they did. They never intended to stop spending altogether. That's when you throw your economy into a recession or a depression. And again, mad respect to Robert Kiyosaki, and this video is not bashing him because I'm not, I have mad respect for him. But it was just interesting to hear one person's opinion 
Uh, matter of fact, two people's opinion because he had another guy on his, on, on his YouTube channel that was speaking about this and basically agreeing with him. The Roman Empire, in my opinion, didn't fail because of their currency was devalued. They failed because people were not functioning as one inside of the Roman core, right? And, and when other nations figured that out and started heavily attacking them from a war standpoint, they were so divided inside of Rome that they couldn't fend off all those attacks. And when people were no longer afraid of Rome, that's when the Roman Empire was doomed. I don't think it had that much to do with the devaluation of their currency. And that's what Robert Kiyosaki and his guest was talking about is that America is going to devalue the dollar so much that it will collapse. I don't believe that. And again, guys, this is my interpretation. I'm paraphrasing. I'm not. You guys can go check out Robert Kiyosaki and make a decision for yourself. I'm just it was curious to me that he would think that way. But I get it. Everybody's entitled to their opinion, right? You're entitled to your opinion because I get oftentimes down in the comment box, people disagree with me all the time, and that's fine. Disagreement is healthy. We, we, we don't have to be of the same mindset as everybody else. We can have an opinion and we can respectfully disagree with one another. And I disagree with Robert Kiyosaki on that one. I really do. I think here in America, the only way we are dethroned is if someone comes along through war and defeat us. That's the only time I think the dollar, the U.S. financial markets will collapse and cease to exist when another superpower beats us. And right now, there ain't nobody out there can beat us, in my opinion, from that standpoint. So no, I don't think the U.S. dollar will go away. Does it go up and down in strength and weakness? Yes. That's just the way... Right? Our economy works. That's the way it is. But it doesn't mean it's going to totally collapse. So something worse than a recession is getting ready to happen? No. No. Not anytime soon. That is my opinion. You guys drop me some comments down in the comment box and let me know what you think about this notion of something worse than a recession is getting ready to happen. What do you think about that? Do you believe that to be true? Hmm, love to hear your comments. So drop them down in the comment box. If you want the 12 free stocks from Weeble, guys, you got to click on that link down in the description box. Open up that new Weeble account. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing. Share the video. Smash that like button. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself. And I'm going to catch you on the next video. Peace. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one-hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.